Good morning, YouTube friends. How's everybody doing? I just was going to make a cup of coffee here on my mocha pot. Um, so just come have a cup of coffee with me this morning. This is the chamber. You fill the chamber down here with water and you add your coffee to the top there like so. And they say not to put the water past this. That's the like valve release valve there. And I'm just going to screw this on guys and show you in just a minute. I'm going to put it on the stove. Hi guys, I'm back. Here's our coffee pot on the stove and it's going to get really hot down there in the bottom chamber and the water is going to go up through um, that little cup you saw that had the coffee in it all the way up to the top here and it's going to come out here on the top. And it's a percolator and I got this coffee pot at the Goodwill <laughs> and I think it was like around seven or eight dollars. Um, I can remember correctly but um, guys there's a haul I wanted to show you it's an old video that I never uploaded but the haul was pretty good so I thought I would share it with you guys anyways um, the reason I never posted it was because I was just being a little grumpy butt that day and I did not like my attitude when I was dumpster diving <laughs> so I did end up um, not wearing my gloves that day I know that's bad and I got poked by like a piece of uh, plastic a sharp edge on the packaging and um, so I was just grumpy after that and I didn't ever end up uploading that video so I'm gonna have that video for you guys next if you want to stay tuned to see what all I found and it was a little bit um, after Christmas so there's gonna be some Christmas items in there and I kind of talk about um, some tools that I had found they end up being some wrenches that I found in the dumpster uh, I did end up keeping those and I'm going to try to sell them at my garage sale. But yeah, overall just wasn't happy with the dumpster diving footage, so I'm not going to include that. But I will show you guys the haul because it was a pretty good one. And we're just waiting for our coffee here, guys, to to bubble up. Let's leave the, I wonder if I can leave the top off for you guys so you can see. But usually it makes a noise, like you'll be able to tell when the coffee's ready to come through and it does take a couple minutes for that to happen but yeah guys so I, I got my finger um, poked because um, I wasn't wearing my gloves and then someone dumped a bunch of like heavy stuff on top of the goodies and so yeah just was having a bad day <laughs> uh, but yep yeah, I'm gonna drink my coffee here guys and hopefully this be it'll be done brewing here soon I want you guys to be able to see how this works and just really cute little pot. Um, I have several different ones that I collect. I have my regular Keurig that I use every day practically. Um, this is also good for camping if people wanted to, you know, take this out camping. And I have a French press and I also have an espresso machine. So I'm starting to get quite the collection here, guys, of different kinds. Oh, I hear it, you guys. I think it's it's getting ready, guys. Oh, look, guys, there it goes. There it goes, guys. I have to cover the top when it starts going because it will squirt out. But yeah, that's how it works, guys. There's my coffee. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to turn it off now. There it goes. It's now That's when you know when it's done. You guys hear that? All the waters. All the water has been building up pressure and it's all been pushed up here through the top. So there we go and let's get into the haul guys. Hey guys, I made it home. Didn't get caught by the security so yay. I just want to go through this real quick. I laid out this haul for you. There's a couple extra things in here where I didn't film at the dumpsters. Um, this is all from Aldi. All this food you see here. There's avocado hiding in there, but yeah, all the onions and the fruit. We've got some candy canes. There's some crackers there, guys. Um, some hazelnut chocolates, some Belgian chocolates. This is what they look like. I already started eating the other pack. These are really good, you guys. Those were um, really good. I, I enjoyed those so far. Um, 
and I've tried these before. Those are also very good. We've got these little frisbees for a doggy. We've got this cat food, um, adult formula. We've got some flatbreads. There's three of these. Um, and that's it for Aldi, guys. Um, except for this tin I used to put these Michael's candles in. It's super cute. That, that was like a gift basket. It had like nuts and chocolate and, you know, mugs. You know, those kind of like pre-made kits that they do on the holidays. And I already gave all this stuff in it away. So, um, yeah, guys. So that's it for the Aldi haul over here. Let's move into the Michaels. We've got these three headbands here. Super cute. That light up. We've got a photo holder. As you can see, it's like a string that hangs down and you put your pictures on it, which I think is totally cute. I'm probably going to use one in my living room or something. Um, there's these crayons, two boxes. We got 64 in here and 96 in there. That's a lot of crayons, you guys, that they threw away. Um, some magic model clay in red and black. A ceramic Santa that you can paint. Which, you guys, I didn't see it, but he's broken on the bottom. When I laid him out, I was like, oh no, he's broken. But still a fun craft for a child to paint. You can still do it, so we'll keep that. And we've got a nutcracker here. Um, there's a bottle opener behind him. It says, yay. It's a bit scratched up. In the, and also, the nutcracker, I need to glue him. As you can see, his little hat there, which is not a big deal. It says, yay. And I think that piece is broke right there, but... I think you could still maybe use it as a bottle opener. I don't know. Um, we'll have to test it out. These two little adorable red truck. Here, I grabbed them. I didn't care. Like, I think something happened to the top. There's supposed to be something on top of the Christmas trees. But yeah, guys, those are so cute. You could use it, like, you know, as a gift tag, like with a present or, you know, make an ornament out of it. Whatever you want to do with it. We've got also this gnome ornament, which I think is super cute. They're hanging in this swing, and it is broke on the end, but you can burn it. That's not a big deal. I mean, it's still really cute. Um, there's these two notepads here, naughty or nice. And this one says all the jingle ladies. You guys get it? Like all the single ladies, like the song. <laughs> And they have magnets on them, so you can write notes. I leave notes for my kids, like do the dishes or put the dishes away or take the trash out. That's what I'm going to be using them for. Tell them to do their chores. Um, you guys saw earlier at the Old Navy dumpster, there's these hair clips I scored um, along with the Burt's Bees. I didn't put the Burt's Bees in the video. I think, I don't even know where those are right now. I think they're still in the car. Um... We have scored this compact at CVS. It's not broke. Nothing's wrong with it. Here's the candles. They're all the same scent. And their Christmas Noel is the scent, I think. And they're all the same scent, but just different colors. So, And I don't buy candles anymore, guys, because I always find them in the trash. I don't need to. Um, there's these ornaments which are really pretty. I'm going to give these to my sister. You can't really tell, but they have like pink and blue and it's that like iridescent that reminds me of like those unicorn, all that unicorn stuff that's popular, like mermaid stuff. I don't know, those colors. Pink and yeah, they're really cute. And I'm going to be keeping these ones, guys. I think they're really pretty. Um, there's one broken one there and this one also had a broken one. You can see I already threw that one away. Um, and I don't think I showed you guys those crest strips. I thought they were whitening strips, so I got really excited. But then come to find out they're sensitivity um, relief strips, which I don't have a problem with that. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these, but I'll figure it out. Um, You guys, the last thing here. Oh, you guys, I thought this was funny. This is one of those um, things from Ulta, you know, the material. But look at her, she's like crying, and I just thought it was funny, so I grabbed it. Um, but I have an idea for, if I can find a, some cuter ones of these, I'm going to start collecting them, and I'm going to put them in a future video, so be looking for that. And the last thing, guys, 
is this this is the lost and found from michael's isn't that sad for all these people but look at this thing on the top a hydro flask and i was like oh my gosh like these are expensive right there's a pink one this is not a hydro flask but this is even bigger and i don't think i can drink that much water um but yeah i'm gonna take the pink one to work there's a little doggy somebody lost sorry Sorry, little boy. I think this is a, probably the same person. I don't know. Spider mullet. There's nothing in it. I already opened it. There's a hat. Um, there. And this whole thing was just thrown in the Michael's dumpster like this. A reusable, reusable grocery bag, guys. Got some gloves in there. If I didn't know better, this would this looks like my son's stuff. He he carries like a wallet and he likes gloves like this. So I think I thought it was kind of funny. I'm like, oh, is this your stuff, boy? Um, some earbuds down there. There's a bracelet. Um, doesn't have anything really on it. And another water bottle. Gosh, people lose. That's a popular thing that gets lost in the store. I guess people set their water bottles down. They don't come back. There's a nickel in there, guys, and some paintbrushes. That is not a lost and found, guys. That goes over here with our Michaels area. I'll put him over here next to the nutcracker. I think I just threw it in there. And last but not least, some sunglasses, guys. And I think this tote is really cute, too. And it has handles on it. Those, see? The handles but that's it guys that's all my scores and hope you enjoyed the video sorry for my little rant at the last dumpster at the cvs i was grumpy my finger hurt and because i got stabbed by that thing that wasn't even in the package by that shaver and then i was annoyed because someone dumped all of their i don't like when people dump like their personal stuff and it's heavy and you can't get to the goodies. And um, you guys, I didn't bring in those tools. They're in my car still. But if anyone knows what those tools were for, just let me know below in the comments. So I'm putting everything back in here. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.